Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. This is a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn for the upcoming week. Please check the description box below for any information regarding this video and my readings. Everything you need to know is down there. I have done away with my introduction spiel, so I'm going to get started right away with this reading. The only thing I want to remind you of is that because this is a general love reading, it can pertain to any kind of relationship, situation, or circumstance that you're dealing with. Okay, Capricorn? So I want to give this deck one more shuffle, and we're going to get started and see what's going on for Capricorn. Here we go. All right, Capricorn, we're starting off with the Eight of Wands in your underlying energy, paired with the Five of Swords. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Temperance in reverse. The Seven of Swords in reverse. The World in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. And there's the cat and the Queen of Pentacles. He likes to sit on the back of the rocking chair. He won't be there for long. <clears throat> it's not like it's a sofa or a recliner where he actually can lay down. He balances up there for a while and then he leaves. What are you doing, Sylvester? You can't come in my lap right now. You can't. I don't have room for you. All right, Capricorn, so what's going on with you guys? I always have to watch him closely because I have candles on the table and he has swept his tail through the flame of the candle on a couple of occasions. So it was far enough away that he was not in any danger, but he's very careful when he walks across the table. So Capricorn, it looks like you're getting ready to communicate or take action with respect to maybe a conflict. You might be trying to revisit a situation where things didn't go your way or you felt like things were unfair or that someone was doing you wrong and it's gone unresolved. We've got a king of wands on the table in reverse and a queen of pentacles. I'm going to get some more cards on the table before I decide who you are and what's going on with these two people. So let's see what else we have here. We have the king of cups and the two of cups. The world again, this time in the upright position. Eight of Swords. Sorry about the helicopter noise. Apparently it's circling my house. King of Wands is here again in the upright position this time. Magician in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, so now we have a King of Cups on the table and two Kings of Wands, King of Wands. I'm going to say that you are the King. Now I wanna remind my viewers that this is masculine energy. Um, however, you, if you are a female, you can still embody this energy. So you could be this king, even if you're a woman, but you could also be dealing with this person as well. So be flexible with the energy. You can feel like I'm reading directly for you, but you could also potentially feel like you're cross-watching for someone that you're dealing with. Even if you're a Capricorn, this could be somebody that you're dealing with, even though I'm reading for this person, okay? 
So the King of Cups came out. This is somebody who's very compassionate and loving, caring. This can be a father figure, somebody who's very loyal, um, somebody who wears his emotions on his sleeve, loves unconditionally, is not, a, not afraid of his emotions. This person is coming across as someone who needs to communicate something or take action in regards to a possible conflict within a relationship. And I feel like this is also the King of Wands in this reading. I think this King of Wands is revisiting a situation where he may have felt that he um, misled somebody or did something wrong to somebody in some way. And I think this King is revisiting the situation possibly with the intent of making things right, possibly with the intent of delivering an apology or resolving the conflict within this resolution by accepting some responsibility. Um, I'm not sure that this event has happened yet. With the world in reverse, it's possible that this is something that you're thinking about doing or something that's on your mind, but something that hasn't transpired yet for you, Capricorn. Now, you could also potentially be the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, I feel, is um, the person that, that the King of Wands is dealing with. I think that the Queen of Pentacles is on the receiving end of this communication or interaction with this King of Wands. I think there's something going on with this relationship where the two of them haven't been working well together. Um, I don't believe that the queen is in a position to accept responsibility for any wrongdoings necessarily. I think she was on the receiving end, possibly, of something that went wrong within this relationship. And at this current point in time, she might be feeling um, sad or upset that things haven't been going well between these two. The queen of pentacles is a very reliable, grounded individual, very loyal, very loving, compassionate. This can be a mother figure, someone who puts others first, somebody who's capable of taking care of herself and others. I think right now there's some imbalance in this relationship. And I think this king is ready to communicate or take action. Possibly moving in the direction of reconciliation, an apology, mending the conflict, something of that nature, depending on the severity of what was going on within this relationship. This is a significant relationship to you, Capricorn, with the two of cups out here. I can't tell if this is a romantic connection, could be family, could be a friend, a coworker. All I know is that this is a significantly strong relationship and one that is very close to you. And there is a cur currently there is some conflict or some unrest within this relationship. The King of Wands also is is a type of person who's a natural one leader somebody that people look up to somebody that takes action it's not afraid to accept responsibility and do what needs to be done this is somebody who's very secure in who he is And with him clarifying the Seven of Swords, again, it feels like he may have accepted that he was responsible for something, some kind of wrongdoing or something that, that went awry within this relationship and maybe even unintentionally caused some disruption with this Queen of Pentacles. And it looks like he is taking some action to resolve the situation. Let's see what else we get for you, Capricorn. We have the Nine of Swords 
and your underlying energy and the moon. The Hierophant, the Lovers, the Fool, Four of Cups in Reverse, Six of Swords, and the devil in reverse. Okay, this is kind of funny because <clears throat> as I was laying out these cards, what came to mind as I was looking at them is that this king is in the doghouse for some reason and he doesn't even really, he's not even sure why. And this is one of those typical situations. And I'm not saying this is a married couple, but, but it could be. But what I'm saying is it feels like this, this king, king of cups, king of wands is in the doghouse for some reason. And he's not sure why he's taking action to try to figure it out um, because I think he's a little bit in the dark about maybe what he's done but I think that he is aware at the very least he, he's this this might be indicating that he is unsure of what the, the conflict is and what he's done to cause some unrest rest in this relationship what he does know is that <laughs> He is um, willing to take some action to make things right, whatever it is that went wrong. And maybe through the action of trying to make things right, he'll figure out what he did wrong. <laughs> oh, Capricorn. You did something wrong and you don't even know what it is. So this queen is very unhappy with you. She's not very unhappy, but she she might be ready to, to leave this in the past and just get just get past it and, and leave well enough alone. But I, I think she she would rather address this issue and um, make things better with you. So so this King of Wands, while you might feel like you're not really certain about what it was that you did and how to make things better, um, you're getting yourself out of the doghouse. Devil in reverse going to do something to get yourself out of the doghouse um, because I feel whatever whatever happened resulted in possibly a missed opportunity something that got away from you because of this conflict and there's currently still some imbalance in this relationship and I think it's because the situation has gone unresolved so right now Capricorn, I think you're trapped by trying to make this right, trying to regain some balance and some healing within this relationship. And I think with this King of Wands energy, you're willing to take responsibility and take action to do something to make it right. You may not know what it is you need to do to make it right, but I think that you're ready to do that, Capricorn. definitely in your head about this maybe you're you know nine of swords up here with the eight of wands you could be trying to figure out what you're going to say or what what specifically you need to do to make things right because i think you're a little bit in the dark about either what what went wrong or how to fix it or both you could be unsure about what the exact conflict is or why there's a problem in the beginning in the in the first place you know how that goes and it's not just you know I know a lot of, you know a lot of people joke about the fact that that men act clueless when it comes to things that go wrong in the relationship and they just kind of passively accept responsibility and say okay I guess I'm wrong you know what what, what do I need to do to fix it you know because they don't want to be in the doghouse um, but anybody can experience that within a relationship. And again, I'm not indicating that this is a marriage or a romantic partner, although it could be. I don't have any card. I'm, well, we have the two of cups and the lovers. So, but these those cards can also indicate other types of relationships that are very close to you. 
This could very well, however, be a partnership, like a marriage, a romantic partnership of some sort. So let's get some more cards out here for you, Capricorn, and see what else we can get. See if we can figure out how this king can get out of the doghouse with this queen of pentacles. So we have the two of wands. Here you are making a decision, choosing a path, trying to figure out what to do. And we have the fool again with the two of cups. You might, you might have to take a leap of faith and just kind of guess at what you need to do in, or what you need to say in order to resolve the situation. Maybe that's why we have the fool out here twice is that you're kind of stepping off the cliff without really knowing where you stand or what happened or having something concrete to base your decision on what actions you should take or words that you should speak. There's the moon again, <clears throat> clarifying the world. Page of Swords in Reverse. This is you being trapped by not being sure how to, how to maybe approach the situation or communicate or how to um, address the problem because you're just not sure what it is or how to fix it. The Lovers in Reverse is clarifying the King of Wands. Five of Swords again in reverse. You have a lot of repeat cards on the table. Six of Cups, clarifying the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Cups in reverse. So what I'm, I'm gonna get another round of cards out with this deck, but I, what I'm seeing is I think that, that you may have inadvertently caused some mental conflict or maybe played some mind games when you didn't even realize you were doing it is what I'm getting from these cards. That maybe you made some decisions in the past for the wrong reason that affected this relationship and ultimately messed with this queen, this queen's head a little bit or a lot. I don't know. It could be significant or it could be minor, but that's what I'm getting from this first set. Now, after realizing that you caused possibly caused some mental anguish um, with regards to someone that you're very close to, the Six of Cups connection, and caused her to be unhappy. Has you feeling um, some remorse and some angst. And I think you want to fix things. So I think, I don't think this has happened yet. I don't think you've actually spoken to this queen or approached her yet. I do believe you're still in the decision-making process, choosing the best, best path to take, the, the one that will help you resolve the situation, but also help you figure out exactly what went wrong. So we'll, we'll get this last round out for you, Capricorn, and see if we can't get any clarity as to what your next steps are, maybe some advice, or maybe exactly what happened in this relationship. So the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And the Page of Pentacles. Death. Queen of Swords, Justice in reverse, Eight of Swords again, Temperance again, this time in the upright positions, reversed over here, and the world again, this time in reverse, clarifying the King of Wands in reverse. So these cards are, are clarifying more of what I've been seeing. Um, let's go over some of these a little bit before I get my last card. So here's who you're dealing with. And, and your Queen of Pentacles is also represented by the Queen of Swords. So this is somebody who is very straightforward and honest, doesn't mince words. This can be somebody who's kind of cold in nature. This is a person who who's making 
head over heart decisions, doesn't deal with crap, can see through lies, and you might be feeling a little bit trapped right now by how, how to approach this person or how to communicate with them because you know what you're dealing with is somebody who can see through the lies, who can see through deceit. So you have to approach this person with the intention of being absolutely clear and concise with your words and your intentions because she's not going to deal with the crap. Um, that might be why you're feeling a little hesitant and unsure about how to approach and communicate the situation. You're embodying the King of Cups energy, so I do feel like you have compassion and love for this person. And this Queen is looking for um, some balance within this relationship. Otherwise, I feel like she... <clears throat> In the extreme sense, I don't necessarily feel like this, whatever conflict's going on could be the demise of this relationship. In other words, it would be over if it wasn't resolved. However, um, she does have the Six of Swords clarifying her energy. So this could potentially mean that she's ready to walk if this isn't resolved and fixed. Or it could also mean she's just ready to kind of leave this behind her and let it go. If it's something minor, maybe something that bothered her. Now, you do have an Ace of Pentacles over here um, in reverse, which could indicate a um, missed opportunity or something that didn't transpire for you because of this conflict. And it was something that would have been right or positive for this relationship. but I think that that is still unknown to you. It could be something that the queen knows about that you're unaware of. And I think, I think that once you take this chance to come forward and talk to this queen, that you're going to have a clearer understanding of what's going, what's really going on behind this conflict because again I, I really get the strong sense Capricorn that this king is really unclear about what he did wrong but <clears throat> here's what you're dealing with you realize that something hasn't come to a close. Something has not been resolved. And potentially, you know, the magician reverse can indicate trickster energy, someone who manipulates, plays mind games, someone who, you know, pulls, pulls the rug out from underneath you, someone who's just not super honest or who doesn't have a lot of integrity. And I, again, I don't feel like this king of Cups, King of Wands, did anything intentionally wrong because I feel like he's a little bit um, unsure about how to resolve this conflict or get out of the doghouse. <laughs> I might have to title that video, title the video this, that Capricorn's in the doghouse because it's just funny. And I'm not laughing at you, Capricorn. I know this is probably a problem you'd like to resolve and not have a tarot reader laughing at you on YouTube. But it's funny. It's a little bit funny. You have to admit. <laughs> okay, this is the card that's coming out for the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. And we have the Nine of Wands. I like this card. It's a very sexy card, too. Okay, let's read this from the book Capricorn and see what we can come up with for you from my Dreams of Gaia deck and we'll end this reading. See if this card gives you any advice for moving forward. Where are you, Nine of Wands? Nine of Fire. 
Okay, it did show up in the upright. It's about a page long. So I'll display the card for you in the upright while I read it. Here we go, Capricorn. The nine of fire symbolizes attainment and the ease that comes with knowing what to do with knowledge and practical skills earned through study, hard work, and dedication. It symbolizes fruition and putting knowledge and learning into practice. It is about having found and putting to use mental and physical processes that work for you. The process used is executed with ease and as a result, you create or fulfill your role with the same ease. This is an affirming card that symbolizes moving through life with confidence. The person it illustrates does what they do well and without seeking glory or validation. They do not seek praise or affirmation. They perform the task before them and do it well because they know and understand their craft. They do it to, to the best of their ability because they have pride in what they do. And when a task is complete, they do not weigh it down with expectation. They detach and move on to the next task because it too deserves all of their care and attention. This card also reminds us that ease is not necessarily about life being easy, but about discovering that we can make a choice to not make life complicated. By keeping it simple, you move through your day with ease. Obstacles no longer cause hours of fear and fretting. Instead, you simply work to overcome them. You learn, you grow in experience, and then move on to the next moment. When you are confident and have attained a certain level of knowledge and skill, you begin to move through life with more ease. You learn how to perform tasks in a manner that is less complicated for you. You begin to recognize what works for you and what does not. You attain a certain level of grounded and practical awareness that enables you to bring projects to fruition with the same amount of care, but less effort. Okay, Capricorn, I'll let you interpret that how you will, depending on your situation. Hopefully this card resonated for you. For me, it indicates the type of energy that a king of wands embodies. Somebody who gets the job done, who does it right, who does it well, because that's who they are. And no matter what happened in the situation, I think you're well on your way to a solution because you've got, you're grounded, you've got a good head on your shoulders, and you'll figure this out. You'll get it done because that's what Capricorns do. They get the job done. Want right, Capricorn? So I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope that this gave you something to work with as you move forward towards your resolution. I really appreciate you joining me today and watching my video. If it did resonate, resonate, please like, share, and subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like. Thanks so much, and I hope I see you again soon. Bye, Capricorn.